Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation problem using the method of undetermined coefficients. Let's rewrite this equation. This is d square plus 6d plus 5 into y equal to 2e power x plus 10e power 5x. Now, auxiliary equation is m square plus 6m plus 5 equal to 0. So, m plus 1 into m plus 5 are the factors. From this, we get two values for m. One is minus 1, other is minus 5. Using these two values, we can write the complementary function which is e power that is c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power minus 5x. Therefore, the solution set S consists of e power minus x and e power minus 5x. But the right hand side, what are the term we have? e power x and e power 5x is not a part of the solution set. So these two term is not a part of the solution set yes. Therefore let's assume the particular integral as c3 e power x plus c4 e power 5x. Now let's find its first derivative that will give us c3 into e power x first term as it is plus 5 c4 e power 5x. Then second derivative will be c3 e power x plus 5 by 25 c4 e power 5x. Now let's substitute all this thing in the equation y double dash. So now substituting we get y double dash, we have to substitute c3 e power x plus 25 c4 e power 5x then plus 6 y dash. So y dash is here plus 6 time of this. So 6 c3 e power x plus 6 y are 30 c4 e power 5x. And the last term is 5y. So 5 times of this. So we get plus 5c3 e power x plus 5c4 e power 5x. And on the other side, we have 2 e power x plus 10 e power 5x. So 2 e power x plus 10 e power 5x. Now, comparing the coefficients of e power x on both the sides. So, here e power x, here e power x, here 3 e power x term we have and on the other side we have 1 e power x. So, this will become c3 plus 6 c3 plus 5 c3 equal to 2 e power x. This is totally 12 c3 equal to 2 e power x. So by comparison, actually we are equating the coefficients of e power x. So no need to write e power x on the right hand side. So let us write only 2. Then by comparison, we get the value of c3 as 2 by 12, which is 1 by 6. In the same way, let us equate the coefficient of e power 5x on both the sides. So here we get 25c4. So 25c4 plus the next term is 30c4. Then last term is 5c4 equal to the other side it is 10. Now adding this totally we get 
60 C4 equal to 10. Then C4 from here it is 10 by 60. After cancelling this, we get 1 by 6. So C4 equal to 1 by 6. Then we can substitute in the particular integral the value of C3 and C4. The value of C3 is 1 by 6 and the value of C4 is also 1 by 6. The value which we assumed here y of p is c3 e power x plus c4 e power 5x. So here 1 by 6 e power x plus 1 by 6 e power 5x. Now the complete solution is complementary function plus particular integral. So y equal to already we had c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power minus 5x. So c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power minus 5x. Along with that we have to add the particular integral which we got here as 1 by 6 e power x plus 1 by 6 e power 5x.